now, the shoulders are warm. We're gonna get into good mornings. Uh, he's got a couple tens on there, so he can strip set if he needs to. The first set is 20. Let's go. Come on. Come on around if you can. Come oh, on, buddy. Show me how it's done. Good mornings work a lot better with your legs are locked out and straight. Go ahead and straighten them for a couple. Notice his range of motion isn't what it could be. It, it honestly feels like it's going to rip out the back of your knees, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So don't go past it, but enjoy that, that stretch. That's guaranteeing that that part of the muscle group's working. Come on. All right, now go ahead and uh, bend your legs a little bit and we're going to the last 15. Oh, a little bit faster. Oh. Another thing I like about it, you can't really see it, but he can literally lift up on his toes. He's heel planted. All of his weight is on his heels. You don't want it to be on your toes. So he, he can literally come up on his way down. I want you to show him one. So lift up your toes when you're on the way down. Lift them up. See that? That guarantees the weight is on his on his heels. Come on, buddy, keep going. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Hamstrings lower back. Let's go. Come on. Good man, Good man, come on. Now I prefer to start with the I prefer to start definitely with the uh, with the legs as straight as possible. But if you finish with bent legs, as long as your heel uh, heel planted, you got all that weight on those heels, you're good. Oh. Way to be, buddy. Good to hurry. I love this kid. He's a great example of uh, heart rate training. It's always high on him. <laughs> I don't I don't know what he's. I have no my, idea. I can't get. I mean, I, mine gets high, but. I know uh, getting the numbers is, is harder as you've been doing it for longer. So kudos to you, buddy. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. Right now we're getting into deadlifts. Just finished the good mornings. Notice he's using his bursa grips. I don't want him worried about his hands right now. He's got an overhand grip. He could do one over, one under. Right now we're going to do both over because with the bursa grips it's easy to do. So come on ahead and come on forward, bud. Beautiful. And on down. I don't like the round in the back, so don't round the back like that. Go ahead and go back. There it is. Straight, and, and if you've got to, bend your legs a tiny bit. Just that little bit of bend. There it is. All right, knock them out. 15 to 20, let's go. We have super good arch in the back. We need more of a bowl of soup. A bowl of soup. Back, back all the way down. Bend. Now do your right. See how you're bending that? I want that bowl suit. That's what I'm asking for. He's doing this. Hold it. You hold it. These muscles are engaged. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now I'm going to strip set. Drop it. What he's doing is safe, it's not too much weight, but I'm going to get killed on my videos if I let him round his back. So I'll let him do that for a minute. Now we're going to show you the perfect form. It has to be a straight back. Let's go, bud. Right 
RA 160. Congratulations, you're incredible. Now once again, David Kimberly, Johnny Fresh Guy, is going to show you uh, maybe how I would prefer you do it. This guy's exhausted. I've been kicking his ass here for two hours, okay? So in, in fairness to him, I'm fresh. But watch my lower back. I'm really going to try to show you that bowl of soup and over exaggerate it. One hand, one over, because I don't have my grips on. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but it's super arch. I'm arching as hard as I can. Not here. Here. So I pull my shoulders back, arching my back the whole time I go down. Straight leg, same thing. When you do it that way, people talk about the Christmas tree. What's the Christmas tree? It's a penguin. Right here? When you do it right, there's a Christmas tree. When you get super lean, he's got one here. It just fires across and it's a beautiful thing. It goes super wide. Why do you back? Take it out, come on out. There we go. So right around here, that's what's firing off. That's where I feel. I only did a few reps. Right there, it's just pissed, it hurts, it's painful. When you're doing them, and you're super arched, and you go down, and right here your shoulders want to go forward, right? I'm asking you to keep them up here. They're going to want to be here. If it's too much, well, if it's a lot of weight, if you match it out, they're going to be here. But if you can manipulate it and come here all the way down, all these have to engage to keep that weight there and we're training the muscle groups intended. So, do you see the difference? I don't know if you can see. Okay, you guys are gonna watch the camera, you're gonna see the footage. But uh, I, that's how I did them, and he was doing them fine. It worked just fine, he's not gonna hurt himself. But when he starts to get into the weights, super, super heavy, we're gonna wanna make sure that form is perfect. Good job, buddy. Heart rate now? Heart rate's resting in his fat burning zone. How old are you? 23. 23, you look on the graph, his heart rate's supposed to be about, he could be as high as like 145, 150 for his fat burning zone, because he's super young, mine's like 130 something. <laughs> um, but uh, right now, it just it goes to show you that he's in his fat burning zone. Right now, he's burning fat. Recuperating from his set that was a minute ago. Good job. All right, guys, now we're into the chin-ups. This is gonna be a set of five to 15. Now, I've got a hurt brachialis. I can't do more than five, so I'll do several sets of five and manipulate this uh, this number a little bit. But if you can do 15, do 15. If you gotta slow it down, however you do it, just go do essentially about as many as you can do. Michael, we're ready for you, buddy. Ooh. Super wide grip, use reverse grip so he's not worrying about his fingers. That's perfect. Switch your legs. Everything firing. One of the best back exercises there is. Be done in your backyard or anywhere. Today we're in the gym. Come on. Come on. Okay, right about here I say stop. The reason why, these guys, I was doing this in a personal thing to me. I was right there, I was wanted another one, I wanted another one, and man, I got it. I was like, man, give me a back. But I didn't realize in my off season, I, you know, I used to take one, uh, I gained 15 pounds. So it was like having a 15 pound dumbbell between my legs. And I was mad I couldn't hit the same rep that I'm used to. So I fired one up and then I could barely get it up, right? I was all proud of myself. And on the way down, I let it, the resistance go a little bit and I had to catch myself. It's like dropping the dumbbell or any of those moves and it ripped my brachialis. It wasn't the same for a year. So I really take it personal. When your back is exhausted on this and you can't do anymore, the bicep starts to do a lot of work. And the biceps is not big enough for all that weight and you will rip it. So just pay attention to these and if you've got to stop, go ahead and stop. Don't be Johnny Jerky guy. Because this is a, a, a very basic exercise you can get really hurt in. Were you noticing your biceps on that? Oh yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, heart rate? 133. Okay, 133. I talked a little bit too much. We're going to get right into super cell. Let's go. Right over here. Now see? Super cell. Let's go. Back. I want to squeeze, I want to really think about those muscles back there. 
Your arms can do all this work if you don't pay attention. Come on. Come on. Fifteen to twenty. Come on. The elbows really need to go behind the back to really get that, that squeeze. There it is. Yeah. Come on. It's enough. Okay, so he did a little bit less weight. He asked me if the weight's enough, and I said, yeah. So now I want him to do two 10-second reps. You ready? Yep. You know how to do this. Go. One, two, three, four. Think about your back. Five, no biceps. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quickly to that back. Back again. Ten, nine, eight. Think about your chest. Think about your back. Think about everything. Come on. Five. Come on. Four. Come on. Three. Two. Think about your back. One. Tell the camera what you think about slowing down those reps. We're all more bent, definitely. We're all more bent. Some people call it discomfort. Why are you calling it pain? Sure, it's just pain. <laughs> That's how it computes to me, guys. I've had a lot of uh, people I look up to in the industry, and they say, Kimberly, you're unrelatable. You're using these words that are uh, abrasive, like pain and, and threshold and gur. And, I, 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 I can't help sugarcoat it. You know, uh, some people say, oh, I need you to do more the next time than you did the time previous, or you gotta push yourself to another level. They say all these things. My book is pain. I want need you to go in there and endure intentional pain. I want you to put yourself into a position on purpose to rip apart a muscle tissue and do it for as long as you can until you just cannot do it anymore. And it's not because of physical, it's because of the pain in the muscle. That's how you grow. That's how I like to word it. Now you probably get the same point with somebody else softening up a little bit, but I don't want there to be any misconception. If you want your muscle group to grow to its potential, it is going to hurt. It is going to be painful. You can do ice baths. You can do all sorts of, you know, anacare. You can, you can do your bend gaze. You can do lots of things to help alleviate some of that pain. But don't think that you're going to put bumps where there's no bumps if you're not willing to endure it. The wide grip row, you notice I'm doing the, the ultimate mistake. I'm over here on the chest press. Like this is this is the ultimate no-no. You're reading a lot of magazines, all these guys saying, hey, um, don't ever use the bench press for traps. I'll come over here and use this Olympic bar for traps. Biceps, I'll use it for that too. Hell, I'll even use it for something like this for a bent over row. If it's the only piece of equipment in there and you're sweating and you're working hard, the hell with anybody who tells you you can't use it for whatever you want to use it for. If there's another piece of equipment, another place to be in the gym, please go do it there. You know, it's ethical. But if there's not, have no problem. I don't care who's looking at you, because if you're working harder than them, who cares what they think? If you're the one that's going to end up with a back, they're going to end up with the excuse that you're using the piece of equipment they needed. All right? This is a superset. We're going to go from here straight over into wide grip lap pull downs on the cable. Come on. He's going hands over once again. There's a manipulation where you do hands under, but for today we're doing hands over. Shoulder width grip. Come on. Come on now. One. Two. Now try to bend over more if you can. There you go. Three. Four. His elbows are coming back far enough that I could put a, a pole between them if I wanted to. These have to break this plane. Elbows have to come back to here. Come on. Bring it up. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Bend that back. Give me that arch. Come on. Oh, another way. Strong, good back. Good job, brother. Is that it? Yeah, right over. No rest. Get right into it. Come on. Who are you? Why are you here? Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Are you swinging around that way? Come on. Good job. Go, keep going, keep going. You got 15 to 20. 15 to 20. Come on. Come on. All right. This guy's been averaging 
around 150 to 170 all day long. Right now we're 158. Never in your life are you gonna stop a set, run into the mirror, look at it and go, I built what I want. Potential's a kind of a bitch. It's hard to it's hard to earn. Excuse my language. What I like about this technology is that even if I can't look in the mirror and see what I want to see, if I know that this watch is saying what it's supposed to, even though I don't see what, I'm, what I want to see, I know that I'm on my way to seeing it. It's an anxiety reliever for me. Much like uh, Siri. You know, I'm on my GPS on the way to, to traveling, right? And all of a sudden, she'll say, oh, turn left now. Or, or you're 20 minutes to your destination on the right. And the little voice will take me all the way to the point. Well, on my way to that point, because I have the guidance, I feel better about my journey. I know that I'm not taking a step in the wrong direction. I've got this technology, that satellite that takes me right there. That's what this watch can do, friends. It can take you within four feet of your goal, quote unquote, as a good analogy. So just remember, as I'm always referencing this, it's about the journey. How many of us on our GPS look at it 20 times on the way there? We just look, we know we're in the right direction. We know this little thing's gonna tell us when we're not, but we look anyway. Why? Because it feels good. It's, just, it's affirmation. Affirmations are nice. This watch is your affirmation until you get to your goal. And then when you get there, you can throw the thing away or you can keep on using it. It's up to you. We're gonna do single arm dumbbell rows. Now, a lot of you have seen this done on the bench, but once again, we're trying to work around the bench. I don't want there to be any excuses why you can't keep the times or the exercises. So today, we're gonna do uh, full body. So my forearm's gonna be right here, rested. Go. Oh. Oh. Nice rolling back, good support. Same thing here. I want a lot of weight on this heel, so I'm, I'm, I'm good and strong. Now, once again, the other way to do it would be as if I was leaning on the bench, right? And I'd be basically on the bench, doing it this way, but I'm no bench today. How do you get your workout? We're gonna show you. Now, the fun part about this is, Mr. Michael, I mean, we do this real stuff, right? This is, we're not faking it. Michael's never done a two minute set. Of, uh, uh, of back. So we wanted to go through this superset training to give you guys a real good example of, of what it is and, and, uh, and, 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 and not having practiced it, you know, so we can see the rights and, and wrongs and, you know, what not, what we can fix, what we can we help educate. So you're going to watch sheer effort. This man's heart rate, he's been doing 20 second to a minute long sets. His heart rate's been up to 170. This is just another level. Two minutes. Two minutes. We're going to start off with 75. We're going to finish with 35. I don't care if it finishes with the weight of his fist. He's going to go two minutes. You ready? Ready. Let me uh, set my watch here. Three, two, one. Let's go. Go. Okay, now put your forearm down. Yep. If he puts his forearm down, it makes his back a little more perpendicular to the ground. The other suggestion I was make is to try to bring this weight as far back this way as you can. So less bicep. So, you bring it up, keep coming, here. So, almost coming back. There we go. The further back you can get that bicep, that dumbbell, the better. Come on. You've been going for almost uh, 40 seconds. Come on. Fight. 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 I just keyed your car, I made your mother cry. Come on, I kissed your girlfriend in front of you. I poked you in the chest. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Take your mind there, dude, take your mind there. Switch weights. Okay, one more minute with this. One minute down, come on. Fight, fight, fight. Look in the mirror. Look at that guy grow. I want you to watch him grow. Watch him become a badass. Watch it. Don't fake it. Never look in the mirror again and lie to yourself. Earn it right now. Call yourself out. Come on. Come on. Don't, move. Don't fire off the bit of it. Get that back straight. Come on. There we go. Come on. Make it bleed. Make it bleed. Bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 20 seconds left. Come on. Faster. Come on. Faster. Fight. Fight. Down. Fight. Down. Fight. Down. Fight. Down. Fight. Down. Fight. Yeah, 20 seconds. Come on. Fight. Three. This is the end of the workout. Fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 10, 10, 10, 9, 8, 
seven. How hard would you try? Six. Guaranteed to cover muscle fitness. Four. Come on. Three. Two. The life you want. The house paid for. Doing this. One. Zero. It's two minutes in. Probably not strapped up. <laughs> His heart rate's 162, and I was like, it's probably higher than that. And 162 is very impressive. Okay, tell the camera. Two minutes set. What's it like? Hell. I hate trying to talk when I'm out of breath. <laughs> What's your heart rate now? 158. Okay, that's solid. You took the pain. Great job, buddy. You like? Any suggestions? Go as hard as you can go. What are these versa grips doing for you? A lot of people, you know, I don't sell versa grips, guys. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to sell stuff. I just use them because they help me. Why are you using them? What are they doing for you? It's helping my grip. It's helping uh, me be able to like lift heavier weight, uh, so that my grip doesn't get. Uh, basically, I can lift more because my. <laughs> Beautiful. I like it, dude. He's not faking it. Uh, to me, how it works is. When I'm doing my chin-ups or I'm doing my, my, uh, my rows or anything pulling or anything with a lot of pressure on the hands, I notice my brain is worried about the pain in my hands. I want my brain worried about the pain somewhere else. If I can alleviate that pain in my hand, brain time, I will. The other is flat out, I am stronger. Most of my muscle groups are stronger than my fingers. So if I want to really annihilate those, train them to failure, I'm gonna have to do something to help my fingers. And that's what the Versa Grips do. A, they save your mental pain with the muscle group intended, not your fingers. And B, they allow you to lift past uh, the weakest link, which are the fingers. Well, yeah. any, other, any other tips? <laughs> Inspire somebody, motivate somebody. They gotta do what you just did. They're gonna be halfway through going, no, he didn't do, he didn't do that. They were faking, they were taking long rests. No, tell them. Just train hard, train as hard as you can go. Go past failure because if you don't go past failure, you're going to regret the next day. Definitely. It's like eating. It's almost like cheating. When you have that meal at midnight, the next morning you just feel like shit. I mean, it's not even that you feel like shit. Excuse my language. It's mentally. You caved. You know, you accidentally hit your kid when you shouldn't have. I don't like using these extremes, but it's unacceptable, right? It's a goal. You're not supposed to do things that you don't, that you told yourself don't do. And if you do things that you tell yourself not to do, but you lose control of yourself, your integrity, and, and your, your own empowerment of self-control. Don't do that. Take this pain. Don't stop crap in your mouth that's not supposed to be there. And, uh, and be consistent. Anything else? That's about it. Is that it? Yeah. Right. All right, again? 105, Still in the Still in the burning zone. Pretty incredible. All right, good job, bud. The other hunt now. What's that? The other hunt now. What's that? Two minutes, the other hand. You want to do the other hand? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm going to have to flip around. You're going to go on that side. Yeah. I'll, I'll call it out. Guys, you're gonna notice that we wore the same clothes in all our videos for this set of workouts. This man did one or two sets of everything you're seeing with no rest. We shot this thing in about three hours. He did his entire body in three hours. He's not messing around. This is not fake. I would not ask you to do something that we are not willing to do, that I did not show you an example of how it should be done. Don't think that we spent all day shooting this stuff. We kicked some butt today. He's going to show you an average uh, heart rate and the calories burned for this full body exercise that is superset training. Come on, fight. Fight, 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 fight. Come on. Keep going. 20 more seconds with the break. Come on. Okay, drop it. Don't want to hurt the bicep. Oh, grab the zone. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Who are you? Fight, fight, watch it grow. Watch it, watch it. Eye of the tiger. Come on. Good. 
Fight. Fight. Come on. 40 seconds. Come on. Go, 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 go. Finishing your workout at 170, all your carbs gone. Now is when you go do your cardio. Because you've burned up all the sugar to build muscle. That's why we gotta wear the heart rate monitor to keep your heart rate down. You know, I could run faster, he could run faster. But you don't want to run faster because there's no sugar left in your system. You want your body to burn fat. So, getting back to the point of the day, we killed the superset training, killed the entire body, we showed you how to do it, we used one great example, and, uh, how long have we been training today? Two hours, 36 minutes. Two hours and 36 minutes straight. Okay, we took 20 seconds here, 30 seconds there, maybe a minute if I talk too much, like right now. Uh, how many calories have we burned? 2,098. 2,098 calories. That's, that's stupid impressive. Okay. Uh, what was our average heart rate? And the cool thing about the watch is it keeps a file for you. 2100 exactly now. 2100 even. Two hours and 38. Average 144. Average heart rate 144. Max heart rate 172. I give a thumbs up on an average heart rate of 115, 120. That really shows you you're moving. Okay, especially if you're following a diet and your calorie depleted. Uh, you're eating less than you're burning essentially. An average of 140? That's stupid. I think the camera helps. Being badass helps, and having a goal helps. Sometimes you can't hit those numbers. So I don't want everybody to think that that's what you have to hit to be considered uh, on your way to your goal. But it sure is impressive. If you can max out your, your, your average heart rates between 115 and 130, that's a heck of a workout. That's a heck of a workout. If all you did was abs, and your heart rate's 110 on average, well that's fine because it spikes up and it comes back down really quickly because not a lot of muscle groups are engaged. So you learn how to manipulate this thing. Spend some time on that KimberlyFran.com. Make sure that you, you read the graphs and you kind of understand the whys or you will get disheartened. How come Michael can burn at 140 for two hours and I'm only burning 115? Well, either he's taking more pain or you're not trying as hard or, and, it, and this is in defense of, you could be in better shape for the exercises that you're doing the same as his and you need to switch up your exercises. That's why I have different workouts. So go to something you're not as good at. This is his first time doing these, this exercise, uh, this, this group of exercises, the superset training. Uh, thus, the confusion of the body and the extra effort it would take to finish a workout like this. 